Hey everyone, this is Shakti Tech here, back again with another video, and today I'll be reviewing a newly released laptop called the MSI GE62 7RE Apache Pro in the G series of laptops by MSI. Now, let's get the specs out of the way first. This laptop sports an i7 7700HQ KB Lake processor from Intel, which is one of its latest, 8GB of DDR4 RAM an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, a 128GB NVMe SSD as its boot drive for fast Windows operation, and a 1TB hard drive for high capacity storage. Now, let's talk I.O. On the left hand side of the laptop, we can see one headphone jack, one microphone jack, one USB Type-C port with no Thunderbolt support, two USB 3.1 super speed ports, one Kensington lock, one HDMI port, and one Ethernet port. On the right side of the laptop, we can see one optical drive reader, a USB 2.0 port, and an SD card reader, which is a welcome addition. There is no I.O. on the back of the laptop. The laptop is priced around $1,400 plus taxes in my home country of Malaysia, which roughly translates around 6400 and is quite costly. Now, the review will be broken down into a few parts. First, the build quality of this laptop. The laptop's chassis is made from a form of aluminium alloy, which is strong and sturdy, and thus the amount of flex on the keyboard areas and the display areas is almost non-existent. I can also bet that this laptop can take a high amount of beating as it is built like a tank. I'm pretty sure it will last and age very well. Second, the portability of this laptop. The laptop doesn't air on the light side of things, but it doesn't air on the heavy side of things either. It, is, it weighs around 2.4 kilograms, which was certainly manageable as I spent a few days last week carrying it everywhere in my backpack with no issue at all. Third, the display. The display is a full HD IPS panel with a 60Hz refresh rate. It does not feature a cool extra goodies such as G-Sync or a high refresh rate such as 144Hz, but it certainly gets the job more than done. It offers impressive color accuracy for a gaming laptop as it covers 94% of the sRGB spectrum which is what that is used on online media, which should be welcomed by anyone who intends to purchase this laptop to do both gaming, content consumption, and content creation. The color accuracy can be further treat to your liking in the MSI True Color program. Fourth, the performance. The laptop offers great performance when it comes down to both content creation and gaming. I was able to edit and render videos in Full HD and 4K on Adobe Premiere Pro with ease. Games run well too, thanks to the GTX 10 series GPU powering the graphics department on this laptop. This laptop also supports light to moderate intensive VR gaming solutions. I will link down below Dave to this video benchmarking the GTX 1050 Ti from NVIDIA and other competing laptop GPUs. This would be a helpful resource to all of you. Fifth, the battery life. The laptop packs a six cell battery with a capacity of almost 60 watt hours and it can get me about four and a half hours long of moderate usage, like word processing, and about 45 minutes to an hour of heavy gaming. It's quite respectable compared to its competition. Six, the keyboard of this laptop. The laptop features a great tactile keyboard that has zoned backlighting, which can be customized to your liking through the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. It has a full number pad and full arrow keys, and the overall layout is good, which is of course welcomed. The laptop's trackpad uses a synaptic drivers which are really nice to use and the tracking is quite accurate and I also like the fact that it has those clicky buttons at the bottom which is more to personal preference. Seventh, 
the audio listening experience on this laptop. The laptop features two stereo speakers and a subwoofer on the bottom of the laptop. The sound from the speakers are really good and are great for content consumption. The laptop also features a high fidelity DAC, which is also a welcome addition for the audio files out there. Finally, my overall verdict on the MSI GE627RE Aperture Pro. I certainly don't regret my purchase of this laptop as it serves its purpose great as a mobile workstation and a portable gaming device. It might be a tad bit overpriced in my homeland due to the excessive amount of taxation, but it should be priced competitively in places such as the United States. And you should get it if you are in the market for a sub $1,500 gaming laptop. This laptop is basically a $1,000 gaming laptop that has been perfected and the extra premium is more than worth it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned to Shakti Tech for more.